Hi everyone, this is Jamie from Painted Lady Tarot, and today we're going to do a walkthrough of the Vikings Tarot. Uh, this was put out by Los Carabeo uh, quite a while ago. I don't actually have the exact year, but it was, it's been a while. Anyways, they're still readily available. You can pick up a copy on Amazon if, it, if you like it. Now, of course, uh, I love all things Vikings, so when I saw this deck, I knew I was going to have to pick it up. So, it comes in just your basic, basic tuck box. Nothing at all to get excited about. Um, it's got a little white book. Uh, written in a few different languages, as is usual for Los Carabeo. I don't 100% agree with some of the explanations they've given for card meetings in here. I um, don't 100% agree with some of the people that they chose to represent the cards either, which is probably why it took me as long as it did to eventually get a copy. But totally worth having a look. As for the deck, now it comes with one of these, just these, hey, nonsense promo cards for uh, Tarosophy. And then you've got just your basic card saying what it is. This is the card backs. They're okay, I suppose. Now the Fool. So, first card. They've used, uh, for the Fool, they've had it represented by Loki. It's an interesting choice. Don't hate it. I'm okay with it. Uh, the next card we've got here. I'm going to actually look through the book here as I'm doing this, just because some of them, like I said, are not immediately obvious. Okay, so Magician, they are using Tear. You can see he's got his one hand. For the High Priestess, they're using Frigg. The Empress, they've gone ahead and chosen Saga, which I thought was an interesting choice. We don't have a huge amount of information about that goddess, but definitely worth a little bit more uh, investigating as to why they chose her for that. The Emperor, represented by Uller. The Hierophant is Odin. Now here's an interesting one now. For the lovers, they've chosen Frigg, Vidi, and Ve. Uh, presumably because of the affair that these guys had when Odin went to wandering for a while. The Chariot is Thor with his uh, being pulled by his two goats for strength they've gone with Thor again uh, basically well, it's showing his strength um, and obviously this is being represented uh, remember that time back when Thor went uh, went about with Utgard Loki and they turned him into a huge cat and freaked everybody out because he left a foot up there you go the hermit and they've used Hamdell, which I think is a great choice. They've got him a uh, big loner standing on Bifrost, waiting for Ragnarok. I like it. The wheel, we've got the three Norns, uh, Verdandi, Skuld, and Order. So it's pretty cool. Justice, we have Forseti, of course, known for. Handling all disputes, so I thought that was that's a cool choice. I would have chosen for Seti for justice as well. The hangman, they've gone with Vali, of course, the son of Odin. Um, interesting choice. I mean, he was born basically to avenge the death of Baldur, so it's pretty cool. Look, they've got the umbilical cord still hanging on to him there. So basically, he's being hung by the umbilical cord. It's it's uh it's cool. I like this one. Death. We've got the Valkyries, Temperance, got Balder, and hold on, I think I'm just going to turn my page here for the Devil, Hoder, of course, who was responsible, you know, accidentally for killing Balder.
tower they've chosen to illustrate Asgard. The stars they've used uh, Idrazil. The moon, Manny, an obvious choice. For the sun, we've got Suna. Judgment, we have Ragnarok. And for the world, they've gone with Ymir, which is pretty cool. I'd like to see a primordial giant, you know, kicking around. I enjoy that. Then we're going to get into the miners, which are actually, uh, they're pretty cool. I enjoy these. Okay, so this would be our ace. They're using Freya. Two, we've got Litir. Three, we've got uh, Girder with Freya and Idun. Four, we've got Skirnir, the servant of Freyr. Five, we have uh, Freya crying over the departure of Odor. Six. Hmm. Torgerder, Hogabruder, and Urpa. Seven. The gifts of Torgerder and Hogabruder. Eight. We have Njorth. Apparently abandoning the Azir after the decline of the gods. Whoops, uh, nine, Fjolnir, ten is Gerther, there we go, for the knave we have Thrair, and for the knight we have Odor, and for queen we have Skadi. Very cool. And last but not least, in this suit we have the king, which is Norther. No. The next one, so we got the pentacles. We have uh, Alberic, the dwarf who forged the ring of Nibelung. Number two, we've got the dwarves Fjallar and Galar, the guys who brewed the Mia poetry. We have the dwarves. Uh, Ostri, Vestri, Nordri, and Sudri. Lither. The gifts of the dwarves to the gods. Hoemwi? Yeah, you have to excuse my pronunciation of some of these words. Here it says in the book uh, da, 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 da. Eight, the dwarf who constructed the chain for Fenrir. Ah, very cool. Number nine is just a mysterious elf. Ten, we have Andvari. Alvis. Uh, we have do, 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 the Dwarf Dane on the Wild Boar of Freya. A queen. It just says an elf queen. And the king is uh, Dvalin. Very cool. So next we're going to get to the wands. We've got the head of Mimir. We've 
got Thrim. Oops. And we have Primair guiding uh, Megalfar. We have Thor marrying Young Saxa. Belly. This one just seems to be uh, an expedition to conquer Asgard. Okay. Krugnir. The eight giants killed by Thor. The nine mothers of Hamdal. Storverker. Fjolvar. Hrungnir. Senmara. And the king is Surtur. In our swords. Got Sigurd, Askernembla, Pro, Carl, and Jarl, ancestors of the social classes, Helgi, Who's this one? Uh, that is a Bolander, the blacksmith. Hedingus and Guthormus. Eric the Red. Stark Arter. Svipdagger. King Olaver, Otar, and Nagelfar, just a random old Valkyrie, and last but last least we have King Gilpy. So as you can see, these are they're a pretty cool deck. Like I said, some of them I'm not entirely sure why they made the choices that they did, but I'm gonna gonna leave it at that for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like sub, give me a follow, and have a great day. Thank you.